1204, August 1st. Hi guys, Anson here from Ivy Sports and Homestead. Beard's coming off, so I decided to uh, join the challenge. Challenge 2020 update. It is in October. Uh, it's way past the first. Uh, hey, we've been a little busy, so I have not had a chance to do my update for this month, but here we go. Going in two months, right? Two months. It's, it's getting there. So I'm just going to show you some of the products, right, that I use uh, to grow this lovely locks I got on my face. All right, first off, in the shower, okay, I use this. Love Beauty and Planet. It's a sulfate-free shampoo. This is what both me and the wife use um, for our hair. Uh, she will use the conditioner. Uh, I don't put the conditioner onto my beard. Uh, every now and again, I will onto my, my hair. Okay, and then having a really good comb, right, that has both the fine teeth and the big teeth, just to be able to, to brush out. All right, so for that, to grow a big beard, you don't want to trim. So I know there's a few of the guys on the challenge that will go through and They'll trim up some of this going on, but to grow a big beard, you can't trim it. All right, you gotta let it go. But down here in the neck, so the wife calls me Yeti for a reason, because I got hair that grows a little bit everywhere. And down here on the neck, it just doesn't make a clean looking beard. And it does kind of drive me crazy. So I'll, Comb all this up. Like, like so. And then I have electric trimmers that I'll clean up my, my neck. Sometimes the wife will do this for me too. Sounds like my clippers need some uh, new batteries. <laughs> That's all right. I just have an older toothbrush. So you want to keep, you know, care of your trimming products. How do they last you? You'll find a, a trimmer that you can also replace the battery in, um, or one that plugs in, and one that you can replace the blade. They do become dull over time. It's easier to maintain instead of going and buying new every time. All right, now for my mustache. Whenever I grew out my beard last time, I was keeping my mustache trimmed more up onto my upper lip because not all guys' face are created the same, right? So I actually have a fairly small area from the top of my lip to where my nose goes, right? Poet didn't even know it. But I can't really, if I trim it, 
to my lip, I have a really thinner mustache. And I want to have a big, bold, full mustache. But to do that requires me growing it over my upper lip. A lot of guys don't like that. So for me, whenever I trim my mustache, I bring it straight down. All right, I just have another little smaller comb. And I try to keep it more on my lip line where my lips meet. Just keeps out some of the longer hairs out of my mouth when I eat but for the most part I'm trying to let it grow and I bring it more to the side and then for where it's coming out at the end I tried to keep these the same length so I will trim that just so they're not um, growing at different lengths on the sides and then I don't have it yet but I am going to be ordering a mustache wax to help also maintain the shape of my mustache because I'm a big boy so I sleep with a CPAP at night and uh, it does kind of mess up the hair because I have a strap that goes across my face here and then I wear the mask because I have to wear a full face mask I can't use the nose pillows and it does sit basically right here. So a lot of times with that, I have, it's a forming cream. It's a medium hold, okay? This is from Equate, uh, not sponsored by any of these people, okay? But I'll use that to basically lay my hair down before I put my mask on, and it, it does help with the seal. Not 100%, but better than nothing all right now I do normally keep my beard combed down which doesn't really give it a real full look yet but if I'm coming back with it all right I mean, the thickness is there it's coming And what helps with that is during the day, okay, I have a product that I got from a friend, YouTube family, right? Has my name on it. it smells amazing. This is a new can because I've already depleted one of my other cans. So what I'll do with that is either you can use a toothpick or not toothpick, but a guitar pick, or just the back of your thumb. Okay, you just scrape that in there. Just enough to cover, you know, about the, the nail of your thumb for, for how much I have now. All right, as your beard gets bigger, you will want to use a little bit more. So this is made with a beeswax, a few other ingredients. And I do have a few of these left. Um, they have been selling fine. And if, if you guys want to get a hold, I do have packages that will come with a beard balm, an oil, a beard band that, that will hold once you get your longer beard. It's a beard band. And uh, some smoked salt from the community, from the blacksmith community. Okay, and then I'll also throw in a sticker. So if you're picking those up locally, I, that package is twenty-five dollars. 
because then I don't have to ship it. If I need to ship it, um, then I am asking for 30 uh, to help cover the cost of shipping for these products. Uh, I believe I have six totals. No, I have four. I have four left, I believe. I have to double check. So, I'll put that down in the description on uh, all that stuff. And if you're interested, just shoot us an email at Ivy's. It's ivy.forge at gmail.com. That's also down in the description. Okay. So once I've done that, I'll go back into my, my comb. All right. Just comb that in really good. I use the smaller side of my comb. All right, so as of right now, at this stage of my beard, right, I still got hairs that go everywhere. That's fine. Just let them, let them go, right? Because I'm not into trimming, making it look nice and neat at this stage because I'm going for a big, full beard. So if you want a big, full beard, you can't trim. You got to let it go. Right, the beginning stages. If you want to keep your beard at this length, then yeah, trim it up, make it look nice and neat. But that's not what I'm going for. You can't cut it back if you're trying to grow it. All right. And then at night, okay, before I go to bed, I use the oil. Just about the same amount, right? You put it in there. It's about the size of a nickel, I guess, down on your on your palm. And just rub it all in. It smells really good, especially once I put that mask on. I can smell the oil in my beard. And that helps. You wake up in the morning. You don't itch, right? Your hair is nice and moisturized. Feels great. Smells great. And, uh, and I got my, my YouTube family to, to thank for that. So, and if you haven't checked out, right, the, one of the last videos that I did that was, uh, you know, giving out thanks to everyone that's helping us on this journey, then uh, I'll link that up in the corner. All right, you guys can go check that out. And, uh, yeah, I got some crazy hair going on today. That's all right. I'm going to throw on a hat anyway. <laughs> but there we go. That's all I do. All right, I got some, some awesome products from some great friends and family. And uh, just over-the-counter stuff to keep it clean. That's sulfate-free, right? No parabens, no, none of the chemicals. It's all 100% naturally made products. And then up on my, my cheeks, sometimes I'll get, you know, stray hairs up here. And for that, you know, I, I will take a razor, clean that up some. Just keep that, that line up here nice. But there we go. My Beard Up Challenge 2020 October update. Two-month update. And uh, it's coming. And uh, I definitely want to thank everyone that's helping us out on this journey. But I'm ready for my nice long beard to come back. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, the thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.